So today we're cooking up some doom 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 brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
KC Masterpiece barbecue seasoning, but you can use any seasoning that you want. Don't want to use that side. That would be bad. Actually, that is the size I want to use. Uh, you just kind of slap them on there. Okay, so I'm going to flip him on the other side, season the other side, and then I'll come back when we get ready to put him in the bag. Alrighty, guys, so we got him seasoned on both sides, and I just wanted to show you this real quick. If you look here, you see that I've got all the seasoning on the inside of him here. That's very important. You want to make sure that you get that seasoning on the insides and on the ends there. So he is fully seasoned on both sides, so now we're going to go ahead and transfer him to some Ziploc bags. So basically, we're just going to take him, and we're going to shove him in this bag here and zip him up that's one piece of the drum you know what I wonder if we can get him all in one bag like this let's see probably not because of this tail but let's see I know you guys are screaming cut off the tail no that's where the good seasonings at <laughs> all right guys so what we have now, if I can get the bag closed properly, let me do that. Okay. So what we have now is we have our drum cut in half, seasoned on both sides, and dropped into a bag. Now I'm going to set them in the refrigerator, and I'm going to let this marinate probably about 24 hours, and uh, we'll come back when he's done. All right, guys. So I want to show you something real quick. When you go and catch yourself a drum just shake his head and listen and you'll hear a rattling sound in his head now i haven't read up on exactly why the rattling sound is there i'm pretty sure it has something to do with the attracting the fish maybe maybe not not sure but i was told that there's some little beads of sort in his head so the first drum that i caught was a smaller one i didn't think to take the beads out of his head then but i got this bigger one Bigger head, I would think bigger beads. I was thinking something like a pearl size thing, but not the case, guys. This is what the beads look like. Let me focus there. This is what's in a drum's head. Now, these are, looks like bone, just bone. And they, you hear that? That's the sound that they make when they're inside of the, excuse me. Uh, when they're inside the drum's head now the interesting part is is that they're on opposite sides of the head you would think that they would be in the same cavity of the head but they're not so what i'm assuming again because i'm not really sure i haven't really read up on this particular feature of the fish is that where it's at in the head it actually rattles up against the bone in the head and that probably makes the rattling sound that you hear when you shake a drum's head this is very cool it has been my understanding guys that folks that catch drum they take these and they actually make drum necklaces out of these actual uh bones in the drum's head very very cool guys just thought i might share that little piece of fish history for you there Alrighty, guys so it has been 24 hours and our drum is good and marinated. So now what we're gonna do is transfer it over into our crock pot here. So first thing you want to do is take your drum out of the bag, drop it in your crock pot here. Let's see here. Oh man, that smells beautiful. That smells beautiful. Take them out here. Drop them in the crock pot, two big old juicy pieces just there. And just enough of water to almost cover it. Right about there. Perfect, right about there. <laughs> okay, now, at this point, what you can do is you can put your top on this guy, set your temperature, and let her cook. But, I'm thinking about my side dishes now. So, one of the things that you can have as a side dish with this is potatoes, and obviously bread, or one or the other. I'm gonna have potatoes on a, as a side dish with this. So you can cook the potatoes separately, or if you happen to have dehydrated potatoes, you can actually put these in with the drum to cook them. By the time that the drum is actually done, which will be about six hours, you will have well rehydrated potatoes, and you can just basically take your drum out, 
scoop off some potatoes with your meal, and then you'll be good to go. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add some potatoes to the meal here. And I'm going to just do about, oh, let's say about three palms of potatoes. And those potatoes will soak in the, uh, the flavoring of the drum. Now, now that I've added my potatoes, I can now take this, put the top on it. So you can either set your drum on two different settings. You can put the drum on low for eight hours, or you can put it on high for about six hours. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this guy on high for about six hours. And when we get done, your drum should be tender, should be coming off the bone, and should be ready to eat. Alrighty guys, so it's been about five and a half, hours yep, five and a half hours we're gonna go ahead and take it off and take a look oh that's good steam down there I'll tell you right now it smells barbecue to me baby <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and transfer this guy to a plate I'm gonna take this nice piece right here out of here Ooh, that's a good piece right there this is gonna want to drain off the juice there Now what I want to do is try to find some of those potatoes down here. Oh, there goes a the tail. <laughs> so I'm just going to scoop up some of those potatoes. And this is just me guys. I usually add myself a piece of bread here. So, Alrighty. So there we go guys, we got the lovely, lovely drum, it's very tender, see it's basically falling off the bone here, just right off the bone, and the potatoes, and I'm going to go ahead and add myself a little bit of lemon pepper on my potatoes, you know, this is actually not part of the recipe, but hey, you can never have too much lemon pepper in your life, you know? <laughs> That's it, guys. That is Crock Pot Barbecue Drum. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys try this out. Again, this makes a great, great winter meal. And with the winter months coming ahead here in Oklahoma, you better believe if I got me some drum, I'm going to be Crock Potting it. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate y'all guys stopping by and watching the show today. And uh, we'll see you next time on Crock Rolling with Kevin.